to you guys that personally, I don't like fake designer clothing. If you want to treat yourself to something sort of nice and designer, then please go ahead and, please go ahead and do that. I'm not a massive fashion geek, as you can tell, but I get a lot of questions about this this LV Apple Watch strap. And as a lot of you will know, I said that this was fake, and it's not, it's not fake. This is actual LV material, okay? But this isn't an actual LV Apple Watch strap, like you can't buy this, and that's what I like about doing this. It's kind of seen better days now, right? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this strap off and I'm gonna tell you guys actually how I get these real, but not real, LV straps done. Again, this is real LV material, but this isn't a real LV strap. Well, pretty much guys, this, this is my new one. This is my new LV watch strap. Again, not a real LV watch strap, but it's real LV material. Upcycled straps from an LV bag that someone, right, has handmade, handmade into a watch strap. Number one, you're helping recycle material. And number two, it just feels good quality around your wrist because this is actual leather. Me personally, I'm not that bothered about the fact that it says LV on it. I couldn't really care less. Hence why I've got an LV watch strap that now doesn't say LV on it. I chose one that doesn't say LV. So that, guys, is the story of my watch straps. Alex, where do you get them from? Well, spend about half an hour searching on eBay and I'm sure you'll find one. guys, now the Apple Watch strap is all on and all breaking in, I need to get myself a nice thick coat down because we had some, we had some really horrible weather this morning but this afternoon it seemed to have perked up a bit so I'm going to be spending the remainder of my afternoon on the roof with a £2,000 radio. I don't even know how I'm going to get it up there. <laughs> <laughs> tweet me, I've just seen it, that uh, I would have forgotten if you didn't tweet me. So the other day we got a parcel delivered to the office and uh, I told you guys that I wasn't allowed to open said parcel until the 14th and it's now the 15th and this exact thing happened a couple of years ago with the same sort of product from the exact same company. So this is it down here, but I want to show you guys something, something first. I was looking for it on, on this shelf, and this is my gear shelf. I mean, I've got a lot of gear down here too, like Oculus Rifts and DJI Sparks. And, but all of this stuff on here is things that are still in the box. Like this still has, and this, and these, and all of these still have the cellophane wrapper on it. Like this is all brand new gear. God, if this office got robbed and they took all of this, someone can make an absolute minting. All this stuff down here, this is just stuff that's already sort of in use in the office. But enough of that, guys. We need to focus on, on this today. Wow, this thing is... Wow, guys, I'm blown away at this thing. Okay, before I explain what this is, first off, I'm gonna say, I think this is aimed at the more casual gamer. So, here in the office, we have a room dedicated to casual gaming, and that's the new room up there. So let's take this up there, and I'll explain what's going on here. 
So guys, I'm going to put a link to this in the description. This is called the Corsair K63 Wireless. And I think this is going to totally reimagine keyboards in the gaming industry. Now, as I've mentioned, this keyboard, guys, this keyboard, this keyboard in all of its wireless glory, and yes, it's wireless, and I know a load of you are turning off at this point thinking, oh, it's wireless. That's the whole point of this keyboard. So you can connect it to your computer via Bluetooth, right? Which is standard for all wireless peripherals, keyboards, mice, speakers. Well, what Corsair are doing is included in the box is this tiny little black USB dongle with the Corsair logo on it and Corsair are claiming that well if you plug directly into your motherboard with this thing the connection light should just go solid straight away without even pairing and you get pretty much compared to wired unparalleled performance right this is wireless mental <laughs> Right, I don't quite fancy spending my whole evening mowing down kids in PUBG, so uh, I'm going to stop playing there. I've had about three games. So guys, I am a massive Corsair fan. I love all of the products that they make, all their PC stuff, all their peripherals. And this is the OG Lapdog that a couple of years ago they sent me out and the same thing happened. You guys tweeted me and you were like, Alex, you forgot to open that box from Corsair. What is it? Open it now. And this was what was in said box two years ago and now it's... It's this. So obviously guys, this new wireless keyboard, this K63 wireless, is, well it's nothing like this because all this is, is, is a keyboard and this is the complete package but tethered with a cable. What Corsair are doing with these new products as far as I can tell is you can buy this keyboard, right, separately and a separate wireless mouse, right? Yes, they're doing a wireless mouse, I don't have it yet. And I believe the mouse is called something like the Dark Core or something. Bear in mind, this was the lap dog. What you can buy now is what they're calling the lap board, which will allow you to sit in your wireless K63 and also the Dark Core wireless mouse on it, much like this, but then the whole thing is wireless. Wireless. Whereas this was the complete package and everything fit in its place and it was tedious to put together. You can buy all of these things separately, have this as your main keyboard upstairs plugged in with a wire and then when you want a game on the TV downstairs you simply bring it downstairs, put it into your lap board and I have to say it's amazing. 55 inch 4K HDR TV up there. Playing some PUBG or any game you want off a decent computer in 4K with this little guy is really, really cool. And it's definitely going to be used with the lap board and the new mouse for the live streaming room in the summer. Now, I'm kind of lucky I keep a spare gym kit at the office because it's after hours here in the office and uh, somebody just asked me if they can borrow my car. So what I'm going to do is I need to get some exercise today. So what I'm going to do, guys, is run home from the office. And I've never done that before. It's a long way. And they, once they're finished with my car, they literally need it for 10 minutes. Then they're going to drive it back to my house. It's very cold out. Very, very cold out. <laughs> I had to keep stopping. I totally forgot the fact that I had to bring this camera with me. On the plus side though, cooking some eggs. Uh, guys, that Corsair wireless keyboard is something from the future as far as gaming peripherals is concerned. Wireless peripherals have been a thing that people have put off for such a long time, but about now, 2018, right now, 2018, I think they're a pretty good competition for our wired people out there who always rely on a cable. And still, it's always best to plug in with a cable, but we're getting closer and closer to a wireless future. Guys, my name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. I hope you've enjoyed today's daily vlog. And if you did, guys, please smash a like rating. It'd really, really help me out. And if you really want to, go ahead and buy some merch. I'll put that link in the description. But guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.